Hey guys, my name is Adam and if you're watching this video you've probably been selected to become a trialist DJ on Bowlodge FM. Um, and you're wanting to either advance your skills or you're wanting to find out about Sam Broadcaster because you have no idea what it is. Um, basically, it's the broadcasting program that you are required to use to broadcast to Bob Lodge FM. And if you don't have it yet, then you can contact either me, that's Adam B, or John, and we will happily send you it. Uh, please don't try and download it yourself because um, you'll end up with advertisements and stuff on it and it will just mess up your show. Um, or you'll have to pay hundreds of pounds for it, which isn't very nice. So uh, we'll we'll send you one uh, where it comes with a registration key. And um, once you install it, it will ask you whether you want to uh, install uh, Firebird. And you have to install Firebird. So choose a Firebird option when you go through the installation process. And then it should appear on your desktop, I guess. There's nothing else in the installation process I need to tell you? Uh, no. So just remember Firebird when you're installing and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to double click it and it should load like that. Yours may load a bit slower depending on uh, how fast your computer is. Now if it doesn't load straight away, you're probably thinking, did it load? The answer is yes, it's appeared down here or it may have appeared in here. I've got two because one of them crashed. <laughs> um, so just click it, or right click it, and click show. And it will load like this. Um, yours will look slightly different because I've made mine more complicated because this suits my needs. Um, so yours will look a bit more simpler than this, I guess. So let's start off with the music. Um, you've got your music here. There is a folder called music. And you need to click on music all. Um, and then your music won't automatically appear here. What you need to do is you need to press the plus button, um, navigate to your music, uh, which is in... I don't know where I save my music. I don't think... Yeah, it is in here. Okay. So I've got all my music here. And you just click one, or you can highlight more than one uh, using the shift key or the control key whatever, um, and then press the open button or the enter button or whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I've already got them in there. So once you've imported your tracks, they'll all appear here. If you press the refresh button, they'll appear, they should appear in uh, alphabetical order. I don't know why that one doesn't. That's a bit weird. Um, I don't even know what that is actually. Never mind. Um, so once you've got a track in here, if you want to play it, you can either click and drag or you can double click, let's find a good song, that'll do, and it'll appear in your queue. Um, what a queue is, is basically it's a queue of songs that are going to be played on the radio. Now what you can use is Auto DJ, and if you use Auto DJ, it will take songs out of your queue, and if there's nothing in your queue it'll take them out of your playlist automatically. But we recommend you use manual for when you're DJing, so you just click that there, or you can click here. Use manual DJing, and then um, you can uh, manage your songs more efficiently whilst DJing. And of course you can talk. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So when you've got songs in your queue, you can either double click, and they will go straight in and start playing. Or you can click and drag, um, and you've got deck A here and deck B there. You won't have these orcs because I've put them in there. Um, so you'll have these. And obviously to play them, you can just press the play button, obviously. You've got the stop button there. Um, that moves on to the next song. That is the cue point for the um, song. I don't use that at all, so you don't need to use it. That ejects the song. That fades out the song to the next song. Um, that's like the control panel for the like song EQ and stuff and that matches the beat with the other deck if you're playing two songs at once which you don't want to try really unless you're a very professional uh, Sam Broadcaster guy <laughs> um, so let's start off we're in manual here let's start a song and I'll show you what the fade out button does and then it allows you to obviously play the next song so, you're probably thinking, what if I want to talk over the tracks? 
Now, first of all, you need to enable your microphone, and you'll notice that the config doesn't work uh, once you've enabled it. So you need to make sure that you've got the right microphone selected um, before you enable it. Press OK, press mic on, and then to talk, you can either press, press and hold, hold this, this button, button here. here. You'll, you'll notice, notice that, that I'm, I'm echoing, echoing now, now because, because it gives, it gives a, bit a bit of feedback, feedback so, that so that you can, can tell what you uh, uh, sound, like, sound like, which, which is, is actually quite good. good. You'll, you'll get, get used to that, don't worry. So, as you can see, now that I've let go of the mouse button, it stops. Or if you want to talk over a track, you can press the lock talk button, just press it once, and the track will fade down. And then when you press it again, the track fades back up. Also, try not to press the stop button just like that when you're, when you're DJing. Um, that sounds very unprofessional. I'm just doing it for this tutorial. Um, you'll notice these air and cue buttons here. Um, you just want to make sure that air is pressed in, that's obviously not pressed, that is. Don't worry about the cue, and don't worry about these, please don't change the pitch and tempo, otherwise you will be infracted, because that is not a very professional thing to do. Back over to here, we've got the auto, that basically selects the volume automatically when you press the talk button. So if I turn auto off, put the song back on, you'll notice that when I press this, the song doesn't go down. So you want to make sure that you've got that selected and then the song will automatically go down. Uh, you've got your mic volume here, you can uh, change that there. Uh, I always have it on the highest because obviously the songs are on that volume, so if you've got your microphone on the highest then you can talk over the songs. Um, and please don't change the speed, it basically it just does this, which is not... no. No. Nobody wants to hear that on the radio. Uh, it basically sounds terrible. So now you know how to play songs, and you know how to talk over songs, and everything like that. You want to know how to um, broadcast, obviously. Now I've got encoders and statistic relays graph here. Uh, you won't. So what you want to do is you want to go into desktop B at the top here. And it will show you the encoders and the statistic relays. Statistic relays, I can't talk. Um, so what you want to do is in your encoders you want to press the plus button and you want to press mp3 pro. The quality wants to be medium. The format, you want to scroll down to the second from the bottom, which is stereo, 96, kbps, 44.1, stereo. That's what you want. Server details, you need to type the BobLodge IP, which we will give you. I'm obviously not putting that in the video for security reasons. The server port is 8000 and the password which we will also give you, I'm obviously not putting that in for security reasons. And your station name needs to be um, your DJ name without the word DJ, so mine will be Adam. You wanna, you don't have to put the website URL in, I always delete that, um, and I always untick that, I don't know why, I just, I just like to do that. Make sure you've got enable title streaming, what that'll do is um, That'll show the current song that you're playing. Um, that'll show on the Bobblelodge homepage. And once you've got that, you can press OK. I'm not going to because I've already got it here. So you'll notice that it says idle, encoder not started. To start, you just press this button that looks like a play button. Mine will say disconnected 200, like that. If it says disconnected 200, that means that you've probably got it right, but um, somebody else is currently DJing. So what you want to do is stop it, because otherwise it's going to keep trying to encode, and you might end up encoding by accident. Um, if you get another error, you may have done it wrong, so you might want to uh, check through your details that you've set up. Now the statistic relays you don't actually need, but I like it because it appears at the top here. It shows that we've got six viewers, and we've got a peak of six since I started my SAM broadcaster. That's basically exactly the same as what we did down there. You want to click the plus button. This time you want to press Shoutcast Statistic Relay. Press OK. Obviously the host is the BobLodge IP. The port is exactly the same and the password is exactly the same as what we uh, typed in earlier. You can change the color if you really want. Um, and then press OK. I'm not going to do that. And I've got that here. It should say, when you make it, it should, stay, should say um, waiting. And then after a few minutes, it'll kick in and it will realize that you've done it right and it should start playing. You've got a graph here so that you can see um, viewers over time. Um, 
and that's basically it. That's pretty much all I've got to show you. Um, if you've got sound effects, you can add that in, obviously. I add mine to the sound effects. You do it in exactly the same way. You can go into All, or you can right-click here, press New, and that will create a new folder. So I've got my Bob Lodge FM here. And for some reason, my sound effects, you'll have this window. Uh, wherever it's gone. Where's it gone? Where did it go? Sound effects. There we go. You will have this window, but for some reason that doesn't work for me. It says unhandled expectation. Uh, you can view the event log on desktop B here. Um, so for some reason it doesn't work, so I don't use that. Uh, I use the AUX1 and AUX2, which you can obviously add from here. And then what I will do is put them across. Boba Lodge FM. And that's what I do. So if I'm in the middle of a song, I usually cue one up and I go. Lodge FM. Since you can play them over the top and it's actually quite good. Using the auxes as well um, doesn't actually show what you're playing, so don't use the aux for when you're playing a song. Use the decks for songs, use the aux for um, sound effects, and as you can see that the viewers have gone down there. That's automatic and it shows on the graph. Lovely. Make sure that you keep your volume up to the top. Um, if you don't have any volume then that's probably a reason. Uh, another thing you can do is mute. You wouldn't want to do that, but what the mute button does is it just mutes your sound broadcaster. So if I play a song and then mute, you won't be able to hear it, but it will still broadcast out to the radio. So don't think that that is a mute for the radio. It's not. Um, I'll just show you a quick thing. It's uh, in the player. It says play F1. And what's quite good, um, a lot of DJs don't know this, but when you're talking, um, so, so I'm making, I'm making an, announcement an announcement right now, right now and I'm going to say, say the next song is going to be Bruno, Bruno Mars, Mars with Count On Me. me. And, what and what DJs, DJs usually, usually try and do is they usually, they usually try and press lock talk and then they go over here and press play, which takes quite a while. What I like to do is press F1 so I can go lock talk. The next, the next song, song is going to be Bruno, Bruno Mars, Count, Count On me. me. And then I press F1 and lock talk at the same time, which enables the song to play straight away. There's no delay, and it's um, actually quite good. So I would recommend that. Also, let me just say, if we send you any announcements, you will notice on the panel that it says you have to play these uh, at least once an hour, or try to. Uh, we've only got one at the moment. You probably won't get this one, since uh, it's about the DJ apps, and you've already applied. So um, you probably won't get any, any announcements for a while. Um, and that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to teach you on here. After you've set up your encoders, um, obviously you just press that to start encoding, and it will say encoding if you can encode. Obviously I can't because John is currently DJing, um, and as soon as you start encoding, I think you can just press F1, so you can go like this, and once it starts you press F1, and off you go, you're done. Now if you do go away from the keyboard, I'll just uh, say this one last thing, if you go away, um, if there's an emergency or you need the toilet or whatever, make sure you do change that to auto DJ. So what that'll do is when you get to the end of the song, instead of having silence, I'll show you. Instead of having silence and people will be like, well, where's the DJ gone? Um, it will automatically load up the next song. So let's not play that. So um, if I go on auto DJ, fade to the next song, You'll notice that it automatically plays the next song, which is great. Just don't forget to take it off auto DJ, and then you can fade out to nothing if you want to talk. Lovely. That's about it for this tutorial. If you have any more questions, then feel free to contact uh, me, John, or Andrew, and uh, we'll all be happy to help. That's that should be it. You should be ready to broadcast onto Bubble Lodge FM now. Good luck. And uh, yeah, good luck with your trial as well. I hope it goes well.